Shalom. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to deal with this term, Lucifer, because um, this term, Lucifer, is a real, a real uh, um, topic that causes people to stumble, especially in the churches, uh, because um, these so-called churches, basically, what they do is they follow, as you, how should I say, they follow the commandments of men. They don't, they don't really study the scriptures. They just listen to what their pastor says, and they might read a couple of scriptures here and there, and then they'll just uh, take things out of proportion, you know, because they really don't have the understanding of the Bible. So what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to go into this term Lucifer to see what it really means and to see if it ties into to this, uh, to the demonic uh, being Satan, which it doesn't. But, you know, we're going to show you that, that, that it was all, a, basically it was all Greek mythology and a cunningly devised fable. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead to the book of uh, Isaiah, the 14th chapter, and uh, the 12th verse, because this is where they get this uh, nonsense from about Satan being a, um, the fallen angel and all that. And that's why they, ha they have to keep making up stories. Uh, in the scriptures to try to like make it seem like if you if you don't have any understanding of the scriptures and you read the scriptures that they put together for you then of course you're gonna you know you're gonna go for it because it's a cunningly devised fable you know but if you do your research and you do your study and you look up certain words then you'll find out that that whole uh, um, uh, Satan being cast out of heaven basically is nothing but a hoax and a lie because the Most High creates both he creates good and he creates evil and in the heavens he has a council and in the council that he have has he has angels on his right hand side and he has angels on his left hand side and it's sold to this very day all right and the reason why why that was done was was uh one one of the primary reason, reasons why it was done it was to keep the the the, the uh, masses of people in check you know with the hell thing you know so that they can you know give their lands and all that stuff over to the to the uh, Roman Catholic Church and also it was set up to to uh so that that to take the focus of of Satan or 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 of a, of, of a, a seed that Satan has here on the earth the so-called white man you know so they do all these things to try to, to uh, avoid um putting the spotlight on them okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead to the book of Isaiah 14 and 12 and we're gonna go right into it how art thou fallen from heaven O Lucifer son of the morning how art thou cut down to the ground which did its weaken the nations? Now here it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Now if you read at face value and you listen to the stories that they tell you, and they like I said, they'll put a couple of other scriptures together to it, then it, it seems like like well, you know, they, they that that's what it says. You know, it's talking about Satan, right? Well no. See what you have to do is you have to go back now and you have to go to this to this verse here and you have to break it down. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven? O Lucifer. Now, matter of fact, before we, we before we go into to the word Lucifer, let's jump down to the 16th verse. This is what it says: They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? So, who's this man that that caused these things to happen? So-called white man, because he's the only one that has power to drop bombs and make the earth to tremble. And in, and, in, and in doing so, these other nations are, are afraid of the so-called white man. All right. So if you read the whole chapter, then you you'll know that look, this isn't this ain't talking about an actual demon in in in, in uh, on the fourth dimension. It ain't talking about an angel in the fourth dimension. This is talking about a man. So now, when you find out that it's talking about a man, who is this talking about? So let's go back up here to the twelfth verse. And it says, "How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning?" Now let's go to the Blue Letter Bible to the book of Isaiah 14 and 12 and let's find out what uh, um, the word Lucifer there means in the Hebrew and in the Greek alright it says how art thou fallen from heaven O Lucifer right now when you go here the word Lucifer is what Hayalau Hayalau and then as you scroll down of course you know Esau is going to put his, his two cents in it but the term Lucifer means what light bearer shining one morning star alright and then it says here, of the king of Babylon and Satan. See, it ain't talking about Satan, but they'll they'll have they have to throw that in there, you know, because that's what the devil does. And it's it's talking about the king of Babylon, not ancient Babylon. It's talking about America today, because you have to understand that anybody that they set up into office here in the so-called United States or around the world is basically only a puppet for the international bankers. 
all right the international bankers are the ones that's running this thing all right so they have puppet leaders that they set up and these puppet leaders are doing nothing but but uh, um, uh, um, ushering in this so-called new world order the so-called new age they ushering in this satanic or uh, uh, luciferian doctrine that was that goes back to the creation of the of, the, of what is known today as the Illuminati all right so it means shining one and morning star now this term Hayalal comes from the root word etymology of a word uh, uh, 1984 it says in the sense of brightness and then when you go to 1984 what does it say there Halal and what does Halal mean to shine to shine to flash forth light all right so that's basically what the term Hayalal means or that and it was translated as as Lucifer in the um it was translated as Lucifer in the Latin Vulgate by Jerome and the reason why it was done that is because by that time they had already incorporated Greek mythology and, and Roman uh, mythology into uh, uh, um, uh, putting a, a spell or a superstitious spell upon the people upon Israel so that the, the Roman Catholic Church could control the minds of the people they could control uh, um, the money that was coming in they can control the lands and take and that the people can hand them over everything to fear that's the reason why it was set up all right now that we look at the word Hayalal which means uh, it means light bearer let's go back to uh, the blue letter Bible here on the main page and let's scroll down to the Septuagint which is the Greek uh, form of the Bible all right this is the Greek translation the Septuagint and the word here in the Greek for Lucifer is Eosphoros all right Eosphoros basically means light bearer and we're going to show you that now when you look up this term Eosphoros in the um, in the free dictionary online as you see here I typed in Eosphoros right and then when I hit the search button it sent me to Hesperus the redirected from Eosphoros right so what does Hesperus means well let's find out it says in Greek mythology see they already know it's a Greek mythology you know, in Greek mythology, Hesperos, Greek Esperos, the evening star, sometimes Latinized as Hesperus, and Heosphoros, morning star, Latin, Latinized as Heosphoros, see Lucifer. And we're going to check out this word Lucifer real quick. And uh, the reason why that, that happened was because those priests that went down to uh, Alexandria, they were already incorporating certain things into the scriptures such as you know the the, the um, scariness of hell and uh, um, uh, Satan being cast out of heaven and uh, the virgin birth myth and all those other things so those men that were sent down there basically were men that were that were um, some of them you know I don't know if all of them but I'm, I know some of them had already tried to incorporate uh, a certain um, Greek mythology into these scriptures just such as I'll give you an example the book of um, Isaiah the seventh chapter and I believe it's a 14 verse where it says a virgin shall be with child they purposely put the word Parthenos there which the word Parthenos is a Greek word which means uh, um, virgin wouldn't they should have put the word Nianus which the word Nianus means young woman because the Hebrew Ailama or Ayalama basically means a young woman so they put certain words there on purpose and in the New Testament like when you look into the book of Acts, the 12th chapter, they put the word there, Easter, instead of putting the word Passover. Just to let you know that there were certain little key words that they were putting in there in, into the scriptures that tried to uh, um, uh, scare the people into accepting their, their way of, of reasoning or their way of thinking. All right. So that's what was happening. Now, as you read down here, right, it says, see Lucifer. So now when we, you click on the word Lucifer. The word Lucifer says, Lucifer is a Latin word meaning light bearer. From lux, lucis, light. See, you got lux, you have lucis, light, and ferre to bear, bring. Now, before I read any more of this definition, I'll take you to the Latin Vulgate. This is where they got it from. Jerome translated it as Lucifer. See, then when you go to the Spanish Bible, the word here says lucero, lucero, which is light bearer. 